Hello everyone, in this video I would like to demonstrate that how do you manage your software development process using Easy Backlog. The main goal is to provide the tool you need to deliver a software product successfully. Easy Backlog helps you in organizing backlogs, tracking progress, comparison using snapshots, making work more visible. So without further delay, let's get started. If you have never used Easy Backlog before, we will start by creating a new account. Navigate to easybacklog.com. Here you can do sign up for free. You can fill your information and uh, you can create your account. After creating account successfully, you are redirected to Easy Backlog dashboard. All your backlogs are accessible from the dashboard. Creating a backlog is very easy. We will create a backlog of name Windows Application 1. Further, we can assign this to some company. Easy Backlog provides us a feature to select preferred language settings. After clicking on the create new backlog, we can move further creation of backlog navigates us to backlog page. Here we can write user stories. All user stories are categorized into themes. To add a story at any point to a theme, you can simply press the add story button.
Further, we can assign points to each user story. Each story has a set of tools and using them you can do following changes. We can assign a color to a story, delete a story, duplicate a story, move a story, assign a story to a spring. Total points, cost and numbers of days is automatically calculated for the total backlog theme as well as for, as well as for each story. Managing and prioritizing your backlog is very easy. We can use a drag and drop feature to move stories to different themes. For the cost estimation, we use two terminologies. The first term is Velocity. It is defined as number of points that a team member achieve on average per day. Second term is Day Rate. The day rate indicates the cost of backlog total, theme total and individual story. The points per day is simply multiplied by the day rate to give the cost of each story. So we define those terms in settings. Let's say our velocity is 5 and rate is 60. So we can see that cost is indicated using these terminologies. Easy Backlog has been helping agencies in implementing Agile while recognizing clients need for accountability and fixed budget. Normally we meet with client and build our backlog. Easy Backlog is as fast as your desktop application. At any point we can create snapshot of entire backlog. In the form of snapshot, we may deliver initial estimation to client. Customer subsequently will request to reschedule the cost. So we are making some changes in user stories. Now we are saving this as a different or new snapshot.
Equally throughout the project, we can use snapshots to help manage consistently changing backlogs. and being able to show the changes to client we deliver on a knee of accountability. In the end of snapshots, total for the theme and entire backlogs are shown. Backlog is not meant for replacing agile based practices. It's an aid to streamline agile methodologies through automation. EC backlog endorses the process of building story cards and placing them on planning board to give information to team. We can do this by clicking on print. Here we can see that all the user stories are printed side by side so we can use them on planning board. And of course Easy Backlog have all the features you expect from Backlog Management tool. Everything can be exported and shared with your team and client using export feature. We can do this by clicking on export. Here everything is exported to a excel file. We can easily create sprints and stories can be easily be spread throughout the sprints using drag and drop feature. Easy Backlog creates burn down and burn up charts automatically. As project progresses and we start completing sprints, statistics and graphs relating to the process of our project will be shown to us in the stats tab. In the stats, the burn down chart shows our actual progress versus our project progress along with the projected line demonstrating when we are likely to complete at our current rate. The burn up chart shows us how many points in total we have in our backlog at the start and the end of each sprint using blue and shows us our progress in completing stories and their points for each sprint. The completed sprint chart shows us our velocity or completed for each completed sprint. When stories are assigned to sprints, they will be assigned a status such as to do, in progress or accepted. When viewing and adding the backlog, it is often useful to filter out all accepted stories so that we can see which stories are still remaining. So we can do this by clicking on filter.
Easy Backlog provides complete data portability. All your data is now available on XML file by simply appending .xml to any of your backlog URLs. All connections to Easy Backlog are now over SSL to ensure your data and credentials are kept secure. Multiple users can also be managed using Easy Backlog. We can do this by clicking on Account, Manage Users. Here, we can invite new users also. In addition to that, we can assign permissions to the people we have invited above. Easy Backlog provides lots of additional features also. All browsers support Easy Backlog. Easy Backlog is free of cost. Easy Backlog provides API service with 99.99% .99 of uptime. To see this, we can click on support. Here, API service gives all description of services. You can use AC Backlog without any cost. If you would like to be part of this good program, then please do sign up with easybacklog.com. Thanks for your time and I really hope that Easy Backlog will make your organization more agile.